Hello everybody, Turple here, and welcome back to the next round of the Atma. Um, we're here with week 7, and we're up against Rog, who has a very, very scary uh, weather team. The Fargo Force are not pulling any punches this time. Um, they have Walking Wake, Hisui and Zorark, Screamtail, Torkoal, Pelipper, they have both weathers. Um, Overquill, Trapinch, Excadrill, Venusaur, and Palmot. They have a lot, a lot of um, scary, scary stuff. And most of all, they have a lot of weather sweepers. Because they have Overquill, who can have Swift Swim in rain. And they have uh, Venusaur, who can have Chlorophyll in sun. Then they have Walking Wake, who likes both sun and rain. And I am terrified of this. They could also run manual sand and have extra double sweep with sand... Uh, uh, what is it? Sand rush. Sand rush, yeah. So, very scared of this matchup. And I thought, what better way to start us off than by bringing a classic lead in Iron Bundle. I'm not running flip turn this time, because, yeah. But I am running freeze dry, and I'm not relying on hydro pumps. I'm using Terra Blast Water. Um... Yeah, no, it's not entirely Iron Bundle, but hey, it might as well be. Because what I have here is a Jilly anti-weather uh, leads um, Delibird. What it does here is it agilities up, it one-shots Pelipper and Walking Wake with Freeze Dry, it two-shots Torkoal with uh, Terra Blast because of the uh, safety umbrella, I don't get the weakness from the sun, and it has Destiny Bond to catch mons like Overquill or Isu in Zorark, which I outspeed if they're not, like, Zorark can't be Scarf. And the interesting thing here is I made sure that most of my mons are faster than Ray, like, two of my mons have to be faster than Overquill or Venusaur if they're adamant. Because if they're adamant slash uh, modest, they um, don't outspeed me. And that means they virtually can't afford to bring a boosting nature. Um, the whole idea is I can lead this immediately. If they lead um, weather, I'm in a very good position. If they lead Zorark, I'll know because it's not weather. Um, and a lot of their Pokemon have abilities that are fairly obvious to see. Um, but yeah, he, this means he can't really bring weather. I, I'm not expecting sun. I'll be 100% honest. Because I do have two Protosynthesis Mons and a Terra Fire harvest really really good sun grass type so i'm not too worried about him bringing that i also do have heat on with sun which would be terrifying so against rain specifically this is very good i can also like i said use destiny bond to take care of a zorark or a screamtail or an overquill or an excadrill or something like that just take it out with me then next up on the chopping block i have sunshine my Sandy Shocks. Um, like I said, if he brings Sun, he's kind of a madman. Um, but if he does, I do get to keep my booster energy, uh, which is very nice. Uh, and I get a special attack buff for Discharge, Earth Power, or Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon specifically there to hit the Screamtail, because um, Earth Power and Discharge hits basically everything else. Um... And I have to have something. Screamtail is the one that really, really terrifies me. Because my main source of damage, my next mon, is uh, Wrong Moon. And yeah, that's my the only resist to Dragon. Then, I have Protect as a last move. Which is very nice. Because that helps me scout uh, what what moves are being clicked by like Venusaur or Pal Palmot or something like that. Uh, same with Overquill. I can scout for Terra. On Venusaur or Overquill, which is nice. I can scout for if it's a Zorark or not, by what move they're clicking. I can resist first impression from Tarpinch, which is very nice. And I can waste weather turns. That is the big deal here. I can waste weather turns and make it very hard for him to play his game. Then, like I said, I have Princess, because Princess don't bite. Uh, I have no biting moves this, this uh, round. I have U-Turn, Earthquake, Ironhead, and Outrage. Most of the time, I'm gonna want to click Outrage. I am Choice Scarf, Max Speed. Um, the funny thing here, right, is Protosynthesis ignores items. 
So I may have my choice scarf boosting my speed, but my attack is still higher. So I'm gonna get a booster energy. If he brings some, I'm booster energy and attack. And my choice scarf means I'm really strong against most things. And like I said, I'm faster than Adamant, Overquill, or Modest Venusaur. So if they don't bring Jolly or Timid, then I'm gonna outspeed that even in Sun or Rain. So. With that in mind, this can put in a lot of work with like outrage. I have Iron Head for the um, the Scream Till again, and then Earthquake and U-Turn are just good against this team. Um, in most cases, I am just gonna click that outrage because it's very good. But like an Earthquake on the Excadrill specifically, it's very very useful. Uh, same with Overquill if it like Terra steals, which it could potentially do. Um, I didn't also mention, but it's Terra Poison, Water, Steel for Overquill, Terra Grass, Fire, Ground for Venusaur. Then, I have probably the best Pokemon to bring against this entire team in Assault Fest Primarina, who can eat hits from Venusaur, can eat hits from Pelipper, Torkoal, Screamtail, Zorg, and Walking Wake. And that's why it's also named Walk on This, because he cannot walk on this. I am immune to dragon moves, I resist water and fire moves, it has virtually no answer to me. I am AV, Moonblast, Surf, Psychic Noise, Flip Turn, which I believe is just the standard set. Which, <laughs> I'm fine with doing that. I have 52 speed, which I think brings me just out of range of a max speed... Um, oh no, it brings me out of range of a 4 speed Pelipper. So I'm faster than Pelipper, and it can't, like, boost on me. I can Moonblast or Psychic Noise. Uh, Psychic Noise is a very handy tool here in this matchup. It can prevent um, Screamtail from using Wish. It can also prevent Venusaur from using Giga Drain to heal itself. Um, plus any leftovers they might have, or Drain Punch on Palmat, something like that. So it's very useful, spe specifically, again, against the Screamtail, which I'm very scared of. And, yeah. Then the big hitter this week is Melania, who is here with a belly drum set. I am going balls to the wall um, with max defense, max attack, um, impish nature to boost my defense even, um, belly drum. And the whole idea is I have quick draw, I have 30% to go first, and drain punch against a lot of things brings me back to full. I have shell sidearm because it hits basically everything else, and then I have Zen Headbutt specifically for Palmot or Zorark. Palmot I can hit with it before I'm belly drummed up. Um, but this is a big sweeper. And I can live any one hit um, that's not like a Spex Zorark hit. I can live any hit besides that. Spex Walking Wakes, Spex Zorark. That are, are the only two I'm really scared of. The rest I can eat every hit. And... Yeah, um, very, very low-key insane set here, because this has the potential to just sweep. Um, if I get it in a good position with the belly drum up, I can use Drain Punch to get my health back on a lot of mons, and if I get Quick Draw, I just knock something out, basically. That's the whole point of this. I want this to use this to just knock something out, and open up the way more and more for my princess to sweep. And then last, I have Oliver. Which is actually, a, like, I, I struggled on this mod for a long time. I had Giga Drain Earth Power because it's very good. I decided to go with Terra Fire just in case Venusaur got out of hand. I'm expecting not to use it because, of course, my Delibird is going to use its Water Terra most likely first turn. I have Terra Fire just in case. And I have Kabia Berry Harvest. The whole idea of this is his main sweepers are Venusaur and Overquill. Uh, the other sweepers in... Uh, the other sweeper in... Uh, Walking Wake does not bother me in the slightest. I can just get a drain on it. Uh, and yeah, I can use this also against his weather. It's very, very nice. Uh, I, I have enough speed to outspeed Trappings at max speed. Um, but yeah, Earth Power on the uh, Torkoal and Giga Drain on the Pelipper are massive. And with the KBA Berry Harvest, I, uh, I resist a, a Sludge Bomb from Venusaur. Which is a way better bring for him than Weather Ball this matchup. Which is mostly why I'm... Because if he has Weather Ball, I, my Premier Arena resists, my um, Roaring Moon resists. So Sludge Bomb is a way better bring for him this matchup. So I can use my 
KB Berry to resist that. And then I have Earth Power, Giga Drain, Weather Ball, which if he's in Sun, of course, just does a lot of damage. And Leech Heat. I had Giga Drain, I had Earth Power, and then it was like Weather Ball, Leech Heat, or Stanked Up. Um, basically, for in, in order, Venusaur, Screamtail, and uh, Overquill. And the whole idea was, like, I have two slots, I have a move to check two of them. So I need to leave one behind, and I decided not to check for Overquill. I hope that doesn't become a problem, but um, max HP uh, 188 special attack is going to put in some work. Um, it is, like, on paper, very strong against this team. The only real problem for this is, like, the Venusaur, if, like, Sun isn't up. Or Palm Mod clicking close combat, which again, Terra Fire, we could lift that and just KO it. So, gonna be a scary matchup. Like, weather is very volatile, and I'm not hard committing to um, Quick Throw, Quick Claw. So, I do have a chance to not get priority and just die. But I do think, like, I have a good shot here. Um, I'm just hoping I bring the right stuff, because, like, I'm very heavily leaning into his team to try and get on top of things and, like, use it against him. So we'll have to see in the battle how this goes. And I guess I'll see you there. Okay, we found him. Um, There's, like, no weather here. <laughs> that makes my Iron Bundle basically useless. He did bring Trap Inch, which I am prepared for, surprisingly enough. Um... No weather is kind of a dagger, but that does mean my Roaring Moon is very good. I am just gonna lead Iron Bundle. I mean, that was my plan from the start anyway, so. And now that he, uh, like, he didn't bring any of his weather, I don't have a use for it anyway. So I can just lead it here. Probably instantly get popped by Zoroark. But that does mean I'll be keeping my Terra Fire on Arbalaya. It's kind of a shame that he didn't bring his water, but it makes sense. Um, like, giving me access to Sun is very scary for him. Zorark, lead Zorark, could be scary. Bro took a selfie with defeated Kieran, what? Yeah, he does lead this. Uh, he does have to worry about me potentially switching. What if I just Destiny Bond immediately? This might very well be Zorark. Maybe I should have agility first. Like I said, the, the fact that he didn't bring weather is kind of a dagger. Maybe I should have switched up my lead, but also... Eh. He needs to keep this healthy though, is the thing. Because this is his answer to... Okay, he does just click it, surprisingly enough. That's hella ballsy. Um, I think what I want to do is this. And just say fuck it. I'm surprised he just clicked it, because I did have, um, what's his face in the back? We do still have Terra left over now, which is great. Yep, 
Yeah, he does switch here. Which does mean we get a free belly drum off. Into... Mold Breaker. Alright, please RNG. I am max fist death also. I do just have to go for it here. He was Mold Breaker, we saw Mold Breaker, so it's not Zorark. If Quick Draw pops here, we're amazing. Uh, even if it doesn't, I feel like I can live one with Max Defense. Let me pull up the calcs here. Slow, bro. He does high horsepower here. Oh, we don't live. Goddamn. I want to see this damage uh, because, um, yeah, we're kind of in a bad spot here. We do have Arboliva, but that's a shame. I didn't get my ability. I didn't live. Um, Excadrill, Sandsweeper. Oh, that doesn't even load. Okay. Well, I mean, we do just go into Oliver here. Excadrill versus Slowbro G. Bro, what? Oh, this man is choice band, choice band. Uh, maybe not choice band actually. Maybe it's adamant. Let's see here. I actually don't think it's choice band. Yeah, no, because we weren't max HP. That's a shame. If that popped there, we literally just won. Yeah, rocks here, smart. Bro, I I think I lose by definition now. I'll let uh, Giga Drain here. God, if 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 I got the quick draw there, I literally just one shot it. Aha, aha, aha. Yep, we were prepped for that. We eat that. He crits me, which is very unfortunate. He poisons me. Of course he crit poisons me. I didn't get my ability. He crit poisons me. Like, hello? Come on, buddy. That's disrespectful. I should have put Terra Blast over Weather Ball. Okay, we are very... However, we're kind of fucked. I need to get rid... Okay, so if I get rid of... Um, his Screamtail, I'm in a good position. That's a not spec. Bro brought it in. Um, hold up. Arboliva against Trapinch. First. First impression. I mean, also, we can just go this. Oh, yeah, no, Arena Trap. I mean, what we could alternatively just do is, uh, because we don't have any other Terras here, I can just do this. 
Okay. I don't know what bro is trying to do. Green Greg! He's making some plays. I respect it. He can't earth power me now. Damage. Big damage. Ayo. Massive damage. Uh, I think I earth power here. Yeah, he also earth powers here. I live though. So I got a big earth power off here. I don't get a big earth power off here. He is hella defensive. Bro, if I got my ability... Like, the thing is, right? I even think that if he's not... He wasn't boosting items, so... I think it was a roll to kill. That, that high horsepower. He has hell especially defensive. Don't worry, princess don't bite. Unless he switches into uh, whatever here. You might just let this go down. Yeah. He does just let this go down to Revenge Killet. Which is a shame. Because now he gets to kill it here. He literally gets to kill it for free. Yeah. Bro, I'm so mad about- because I think that was a roll, no triggering ability, into a crit poison. I'm confusion? We might live this though. This has, this has like no special attack. Yeah, exactly. Um... Princess don't bite. Okay, hold up, hold up. We have the tech for this. I'll be spamming Psychic Noise now. You're not wishing anything back. Stop that. I can get a nice, I think, flip turn here. I mean, Chip, your wish doesn't go through her. Hello. Sunshine. That gleam is annoying, but we can have handle it.
Really, if that one turn played out differently, I would have swept. But it didn't. It w it went like as bad as possible for me. And and now I just lose. I'm just trying to do damage control now. Just trying to lower the differential as much as possible. Get a big flash cannon off with a special attack buff. That's a lot of damage. I mean, yeah, I'm just claiming that again. I have no predictions to make here. He has Mac Punch, he has First Impression. Yeah, we do kill her. It's a shame, but it is what it is. I don't think I can win this now because he has too much for my... Um, for my Roaring Moon. Unless Supreme Arena can come in clutch and just win here. Powerball does come in. I'm gonna scout. He does click Mac Punch here. Does Mac Punch kill? Is he choice banned? He might be choice banned. I don't know if it kills here. Uh, Sandy Shocks versus no versus Palmot. He does switch here, which is a surprise. Mac Punch. Mac Punch does not kill me in the slightest, and we kill another Mon. We kill Zorark. Wait a second, that's massive. Wait, wait, wait. Mac Punch only kills us if he's choice banned. Wait a second. This just went from impossible to possible. He gave me Zorark. And I'm pretty sure his Trap Inch... I mean, okay, so... I'm just scouting again. He does mech punch. Hold up. I have 331 against. Not type inch against Palmot. 331 against 339. Okay, I need to check this. Hold up. Let's say he is adamant. Where is it? Adamant. Choice band. Mech Punch. Does not, in fact, KO me if he's Adamant Choice Band. So, I think I live this. I don't live this. God damn it, it's another high roll, isn't it? How? 
What the fuck? I should have 100% lived that. Yeah, no, that I should have lived. What? What's even going on there? I okay. I might still have this because to do that damage, he has to have been choice banned. So I just surf here. Lately, he has to have been choice banned. So I can hyper voice here, and then he has to click mech punch. Yeah, no, I think I actually win this. Because if he... He dies here, 100%. And he has to mech punch here, otherwise he loses to... Wait a second, did we pull this back? If he double shocks, I kill him with outrage. I just Moonblast here. If he double shocks, I kill him with Outrage. If he mech punches, I, I can just eat his hits. He has to have been choice meant to knock me out from that range. He thunder punches, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think he had to do this for differential because I don't die to rocks here, do I? I don't think I die to rocks. Please don't die to rocks. Yeah, I don't die to rocks. And you are a choice band. So I just Earthquake here. Yeah, exactly. GG. Holy shit. We pulled that out at the last second. Holy shit, we won out. I can't believe... We pulled that through. Like, hello? I, I thought I lost for sure. But then he showed me choice band. He showed me choice band and that's what cost him the game. If I didn't realize he was choice band. All right, well, I guess with that, we're another game up. I think we're five and two right now, which means one more week. Um against Fly, which is going to be very interesting. They, sorry, I'm just blown away by this week. Like, Rock played super well in the start. I 100% I, I thought I just lost that. Like, straight off. But, yeah, okay. Um, I guess with that, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.